Some history for the Toronto Argonauts, Maddie. Off to a 5-0 and start for the first time since 1960. So their record is perfect. Their quarterback, not perfect, but awfully good. Second straight 300-yard performance for Chad Kelly. Yeah, yeah Chad continues to sh impress and show everybody that he belongs. It's amazing that he's only started six games in the Canadian Football League. But uh, he, he, he shows off his howitzer of an arm. And this is like a little wrist throw that he just spots out there to Dejan Brissett and opens the game up with an explosive play. And then he just starts making it look too easy, distributing the football all over the field. And a couple of throws that really impressed me uh, are, are coming up here. And he darts one in the back of the end zone on a skinny post and puts it right on the receiver's shoulder. And, Boom. If that ball's lift, lifted or lofted any, it's getting undercut. And here, it's a dig. Spots it across the middle. 20-yard dig route. And DeVaris does the, be the rest and uses his big body once again to find the end zone. He's the full meal deal. And speaking of which, they like to eat together and drink together in the end zone. And they certainly were doing that. You know it's got to feel good here at Tim Hortons Field when you're able to do that in the end zone with the victory going away. Yeah, really good for Chad Kelly and his football team. Enjoying the feast in the tie cat end zone. Here is Kelly now with Matthew Shinetti. Chad, you win by 16 points. The Argos are 5-0 and for the first time since 1960. But I want to ask you about Taylor Powell and what it's like as a young quarterback to come into this league. Certainly you had your education last year, but how do you think he acquitted himself tonight? Yeah, I thought he did well. Um, you know, I thought he made plays outside the pocket. Um, he delivered some good balls. What I noticed from him is he's always in position to throw, right? He's, he's in a plus formation with his feet, and he's able to just sling it out. And, and you know, it's a pretty good job by him. It's not bad analyst work, maybe. We'll see in a few years. But right now, you guys are 5-0. and One thing we were just talking about is last week in Montreal, the offense sputtered early on. Middle of the game, the offense butter, but you guys are able to turn it on. Consistency, how do you find that? Yeah, I think we just got to keep on working. Um, you know, just keep getting better each and every day. And, uh, you know, I, I think at the end of the day, as long as we keep putting our best foot forward, get better each snap, right? We, we got in a lot of second and longs. And, you know, that first down is a, cr is a crucial down. And it starts in practice, too. So we just got to keep working. The chemistry, though, you're developing with your receivers. Last week it was Coxy. This week it's Gittins and Daniels. Also, you get that big play to Dejan Brissett to start. Where's that chemistry from? Man, I, I think we've just been working. Everybody's been here this offseason. You know, we've been putting in this work since February, and, you know, it's paying off, and obviously it's a still a long road to go, but, you know, it's, yeah. it's a good start. Putting work in, in the celebrations, too. You want to take us through that? Uh, yeah, well, yeah. We, we, we wanted to, you know, eat, drink, and uh, pass it to the next person because we all eat. Ever eaten lobster before? Ah, uh, yeah. We'll see you next week. We'll see you in Halifax. Go Argos. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. Well, we heard Chad Kelly's analysis of uh, Taylor Powell in his yeah. first CFL start. How about Matt Dunnigan's analysis of Powell? 27 to 41, 282. No touchdowns, although he he did throw a pick and he did score one on the ground. I, I watched him just not working on the football field. I watched him coming out of the huddle, coming out of the field, coming off the field on the sidelines, and uh, I like what I saw uh, as a package. The kid can hold himself high against one of the toughest teams in the Canadian Football League, obviously a 5-0. and He experienced it firsthand tonight, but he learned a lot tonight. Uh, I, I think he, he took what the defense gave him in the first half. In the second half, um, I, I thought that he started really settling down. I think he learned how to utilize McAllister, James, Butler out of the backfield and realized that, hey, these are weapons that I can easily make easy throws and they get big chunks of yards with me. And on top of that, I don't think he was known as a runner uh, in the university, but I think he realized how beneficial it is if he can use your legs like that one to get in his first score rushing the football there as a professional that, hey, if I can do this, I'm going to take it. And uh, I think those are valuable lessons learned. And he, he's a likable kid. Uh, and, I, and I really uh, was impressed with how he held himself out there in some tough situations against really one of the best defenses in the Canadian Football League. And Winton McManus got a bird's eye view of what Powell was doing. Here he is with Matthew. We've been talking this week about the chemistry and the culture of this place. I saw you kind of get after Jamal Peters at one point in the game. What is it about this team, particularly the defense, that guys are trying to hold each other accountable regardless of what the score is? Because we know the vision, and, you know, we can see it, and we can see what's going on here. 
and you know you could kind of feel the, the intensity and you could feel something special brewing here that we, we have and we don't want to trick it away you know we don't want to give it away we don't want to lose what we have because a mistake or one play so you know we make sure we keep each other going at all times what did you think of Taylor Powell in his first start uh, you know great great uh, great baller I, I enjoy playing against him man he's a baller he definitely can move around he can throw the ball a little bit so uh, I'm excited to see what he does in this league does this team care about the 5 and 0 record the fact that right now this team the Argos I mean haven't done that in over 60 years Do those things matter as you guys are building towards what you want to achieve this season I don't know we were 5 and 0 I thought we were 1 and 0 <laughs> that's how we're going into it each week man 1 and 0 whatever it says at the end of the year it says that but you know we just take each game one by one man try not to look too hard too far ahead see a little see a lot just like your nickname good business thanks great for business great, great business i you know what you got me great business great business there you go. i appreciate you matt Thank you. Great business for Wynton McManus uh, oh, heading yeah. to the Maritimes as well. They're going to try to go uh, to 1-0 yeah. again against the Saskatchewan Rough Riders uh, next week in Halifax. We'll be there. As for the Hamilton Tiger Cats coming off this loss, going to 2-4 and four in a big one in the East Division, another game against the Red Blacks in Ottawa next week. Yeah, Ronnie, uh, I really like how we were just taking inside the mentality of the Toronto Argonauts at 5-0 and and Wynton McManus and how he described things. He didn't realize he was 5-0. and We thought he was 1-0. and They're just focused on the game at hand, and next week's Saskatchewan and at the touchdown Atlantic, and uh, – and it's going to be great business for, for the Toronto Argonauts when they go out there. It doesn't seem to change. And with leaders like that, a young quarterback that uh, is feeling it and figuring it out in a hurry here in the Canadian Football League with Beattie and Haggerty doing their things, uh, finding some more weapons offensively, well, this is a tough football team. And uh, hello. You know, uh, I looked at their schedule, Rod, uh, coming out here and doing my homework, and, uh, and I'm thinking, man, I can go undefeated, yeah. and you know wow. I think that's where they're thinking. And, and you know I'm I'm I'm, I'm not being still another serious. 13 games to go. I'm not but, being yeah. serious, but it's one game at yeah. a time. And this football team is playing some high-level football. Well, right now. Th they don't want to talk about uh, a record start or going back over 60 years, but uh, everybody else uh, could. Five and zero, Toronto leading the way in the CFL.